My father was extraordinarily proud of his hometown. This little backwater in the remote province of Ilocos Norte called Bata. At every occasion, he would intone, My name is Ferdinand Marcos of Batak, Ilocos Norte. Always Batak, Ilocos Norte. Because to him, it was here that he learned everything that he used throughout his life. It was here that he made friends with people who would become his allies and stalwarts in the years to come. It was here also that he wanted to come back in the final days of his life, desperate to come home again. But here we are together once again, and as long, as long as we remember him fondly in our hearts, as long as all he built remains useful to our lives and our livelihood, as long as his laws guide our national and local life, Ferdinand Edraline Marcos, our president, continues to live on in Batak, in Ilocos Norte, in our country, the Republic of the Philippines. Si pay idi, aging gana ita, Marcos Latta. Gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce my uncle, the President of the Republic of the Philippines. His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. Welcome home. I haven't seen you all for months and months and months. Yeah. It feels good to be back home. Well, I think it is uh, very appropriate, especially this year. I think it's a very meaningful celebration because it is very clear that uh, there is very much a rebirth in the country. And why do I say that? I, I say that because those of us who have kept his memory alive, who have kept the sense of duty and commitment to the Philippines alive. So let this be once again, a kind of beginning, a beginning that in fact returns to the old days and the old ways, not the old ways of doing things, but the old ways of service of honor, of dignity, of love, of compassion, of patriotism. These are the things we learned from Ferdinand Edradin Marcos. These are the things we keep in our heart. And these are the things that will guide this administration. Thank you and good afternoon. 